Hey guys, it's me Helena and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the first planetary line feature in my astrocartography video series. So you may know, but I've been studying astrology for many, many years, but I've been studying astrocartography specifically, which is the astrology of place, also known as relocation astrology. I've been studying it since 2018 and I am now offering readings for people to take a close look at your astrocartography map and give you some grounded spiritual guidance on the different supportive and challenging lines based on your natal chart. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you all about the moon, the meaning of the moon, the energy that you may feel when you go to a moon planetary line, and also my own story and my own firsthand experiences living and having been born and raised on a moon line. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Before we get started, if you are ever interested in getting an astrocartography reading with me, I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one video readings where I take you in depth in your natal chart and show you all about your soul's story with all the different places in the world. If you'd like to book a reading with me, I will include my website down below in the description box as well as in a pinned comment and you can find out more details and information on the readings that I offer. So let's get started with the moon. What does the moon symbolize? The moon is lunar, it is feminine, it is soft, it is intuitive, and it's emotional. The moon is also a positive planetary line. It is supportive. It is very comforting and nurturing being on this line. There's a feeling of being home, being reconnected with your home, a feeling of belonging and ease. On a moon line, you may feel your emotional desires are quite intense. You may have a deep yearning for something, your hopes, your dreams, these all come to the forefront when you travel or live on a moon line. I actually grew up on a moon MC line in San Diego where I was born and raised. I have that line going directly through where I was born and where I was living on. And the moon MC all has to do with feeling emotional, intense emotional hopes and dreams and desires for a career, for being successful, for being famous for having um, achievement and being seen by others in your career. And it's so true, um, you know, when I was a kid, I had this deep yearning when I was like six years old, five years old, I had a deep yearning to be on the stage. I wanted to be an actress, I wanted to be a dancer, I wanted to be a singer, I wanted to perform. And I got into theater very early on and I was a performer and, and it's exactly what manifested in my life at that time, being on that moon MC line was I grew up, you know, wanted to be an actress, starting at seven, eight, got into theater school, theater camps, and I did that all the way up until I moved away, basically. What's really interesting about astrocartography is you can look at your map, but then you want to go a little bit deeper and you go deeper by pulling up your natal chart and you want to see where your moon is located in your natal chart, which house it's located. And also if there are any challenging or supportive aspects, aspect lines that are hitting your natal moon and what relationships they're forming with other planets. So if the moon is connected to another planet, there's going to be telling a more richer story. There are different relationships that the planets connect and form with. And so I like to think of astrology as a play. You know, the planets are the characters, the houses are the setting or the scene where the characters are performing. And then the aspect lines that you see in your natal chart are the relationships that the characters have with one another in the scene. And so you want to look at your moon in your natal chart. You want to see what aspect lines are making to other uh Characters, characters, you know, other planets that are in your chart because that's going to tell you a much deeper and richer story on you. Um, personally, for me, I have Natalie in my chart. I have a Leo moon on the MC. So naturally, I feel a deep desire and um, a, a deep need to be a performer, to be that, harness that Leo energy. Um, you know, acting, I don't like acting anymore, but that kind of energy of presenting something and being a performer is natally in my chart and it's on the MC natally. So of course, where I was born, I felt that extremely because natally it's like that in my chart and also because it's the moon MC line that I was born on. So that energy is going to stay with me forever. Um, so that's why it's really important to check out your natal chart. 
Another thing that's really important to mention about the moon line is that when I see a moon line where someone was born, when, I, when I'm reading for someone and I see that, uh, that indicates to me that there's a very karmic relationship with the mother. There's a very uh, important soul contract had with the mother figure in that person's life. It could be challenging, depending on the natal chart. You have to look at the natal chart and see what's going on there, but it could be a challenging relationship, but there are a lot of karmic lessons to be had with that. Or it could be a very supportive, encouraging, warm energy, depending on the, the natal chart aspects that it's making. Oftentimes, I find when someone's born on a moon line, there's, there's something there with the mom. It's very important and prominent. Interesting, because it's so accurate to my growing up, my childhood, and my relationship with my mother. That moon on the MC, she was very encouraging and supportive of me and my desires and my yearnings yearning for having a public career and being an actress. She was very encouraging of me and supported me in all of those intense desires that I had within me. So it was a very supportive relationship. Also, you know, there's a lot of karmic stuff there and soul contract stuff there. It just, astrocartography has just, it's so accurate. It's so weird how it all is very on point. And I also have a Jupiter line very close to the moon. It's not directly on the, on where I was born or where I grew up, but it's very close by. And Jupiter is expansive. It's good luck. It's being at the right place at the right time. And I have Jupiter natally in my chart trining Saturn, which means hard work leads to good work. Working hard at something and really getting good at your craft, putting those hours in leads to opportunities in life. And so as a kid growing up, I was hyper dedicated, hyper focused on improving as an actress, on getting better as a performer. I so deeply wanted to shine bright on stage and I really, wor really worked hard like throughout my childhood and my teenage years to be the best I could. So that Saturn trining Jupiter natally in my chart, if you look at Jupiter right there next to San Diego for me, it's like, yeah, the opportunities, the good luck was there because I worked hard for it. It. Also, uh, something to note about Jupiter is Jupiter expands the energies of, of other nearby planets. So if you have Jupiter next to a planet, it's going to amplify the energy. So because Jupiter is so close to my moon in San Diego where I was raised, that intense yearning and desire emotionally to be recognized for MC, which is career success achievement, uh, was even more amplified than it would be if it was just the moon MC. So just note that when you're looking at your chart, if you see a Jupiter somewhere, know that that Jupiter is going to amplify and expand that energy of that nearby planet. So that's just a little bit on the moon and how I have personally experienced that moon planetary line in my own life, being born and raised on the moon MC with that Jupiter expanding that energy there, having that connection with my mom, wanting to really focus on that MC career aspect of life, having that emotional desire there, and also how it's connected to the natal chart because it's wild to me how the natal chart with astrocartography, when they're paired together, they give you more context and more details and understanding. If you just looked at your astrocartography map, there's stuff there, but it's vague. You could go deeper by simply looking at your natal chart and understanding the different aspects that's going on there. So. If you are curious about looking up your astrocartography map, I really recommend pulling up your natal chart, learning at least some of the basics of the different planets, their meanings, the houses that they're in, as well as the lines that you see and the meanings of those lines. And that's gonna give you some more context when you pull up your astrocartography map. And I would love to hear from you. If you have traveled to a moon line or you live or were born and raised on a moon line, I would love to hear from you. Uh, moon is very positive and beneficial, but it comes with that intense longing and I can totally relate to that having been born and raised on one. Uh, again, if you would like a reading with me, I'd love to work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you some grounded spiritual guidance. I'll include my website down below. But other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day and shine bright with the moon and 
don't forget to go look at the moon tonight wherever you are in the world and just spend a minute soaking up its beautiful energy because the moon is one of the most healing energies that we can really harness. So have a magical day, Kindred Spirit, and I will see you in the next Planetary Line video here on my channel.